Over half of Americans surveyed in the last year reported facing online hate in their lifetime. That's according to a new study by the Anti-Defamation League. The figure is a 12% jump from the advocacy group's same survey last year. ADL Vice President Yale Eisenstadt says the results are worrying. We've been doing this every year since 2019. And this year, the results are really dire. We found that 52% of adults experience hate and harassment online and have done so in their lifetimes. We found that hate and harassment rose for every, almost every demographic and across almost every metric. We found that teens really dramatically increased in terms of how much hate and harassment they experienced um, from the previous year. And, you know, lots of other results that are really concerning. The survey also found that percentage rose to 76% for transgender responders, the highest of any group. Excluding trans people, the percentage of LGBTQ plus responders that reported online hate was 47%. The rate of harassment was 26% for Jewish respondents, 38% for Black Americans, and 38% for Muslims. 2,139 adults and 550 teenagers were surveyed in all. House Bill 15 is now law in the state of Texas. In the past year, Republican-led states have signed a flurry of bills related to transgender youth. Some of those bills remain held up in court. On Wednesday, judges in Kentucky and Tennessee blocked state laws that banned puberty-blocking drugs and hormones for transgender children, while lawsuits challenging the bans proceed. Proponents say the bills protect minors, while opponents say they disenfranchise them. Eisenstadt says the wave of legislation has contributed to the rise in vitriol online. The online world feeds off of what is happening offline and vice versa. And so when you see an increase of hateful rhetoric, charged political speech, that obviously has an effect. But even more important, over the past year, we've seen most of these social media companies make dramatic cuts to their trust and safety teams, to the very people who job it is, is to make sure that people remain safe online, whose job it is to ensure that these companies are actually enforcing their anti-hate policies. So I think that's a major factor. And frankly, just year after year, if the numbers get worse, it is pretty clear that that means the companies are not taking these, these threats, these problems, these situations seriously enough. Eisenstadt says that while all platforms do poorly in protecting users from abuse, Facebook ranked the worst for the second consecutive year. But Twitter, Reddit, and YouTube all also saw an increase in online hate and harassment.